Hello beautiful people and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how I go from this to this as I share with you this makeup look that I have not decided to name yet. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but you already know what it's going to be called, so that. That's what we're going to do. This video is especially for you if you're in between a natural makeup look and a glam makeup look. I have a lot of natural and simple makeup looks here on this channel. It is my go-to. It's just easy for me. It's most realistic. I just have fun doing natural looks. This is just a look that I have been loving lately. It's still natural. It's still pretty simple to do. It doesn't take a lot of steps, but it also gives just an extra oomph. Let's go ahead and get started. I have not done my skincare base yet. I usually always do it before I get on the camera, but today I wanted to save it just for you. To start, I have a clean face. Um, I've got a couple blemishes that are giving me some problems that I just feel like if I put makeup on it, it will just make the problem worse. So I actually have been using this new product from Fenty Skin. I had very low, low expectations for Fenty Skin. Typically celebrity skincare brand products are just not very good. Most of you know the skincare that I use. I'll let that speak for itself. I decided to try this out because I don't have anything like this. This is the Fenty Skin Blemish Defeater. This stuff I can rock with. BHA Spot Targeting Gel. I don't think you're supposed to necessarily put it on before makeup, but I have been doing this. It makes them less irritated and I feel like it helps take it away. It's not like too, too bad guys, but I just have like some stuff here that I know that if I don't treat it now, it will get so big. So I just put on a little bit of this. It's like a gel. It kind of tingles a bit, which I love. I just popped this pimple this morning and it was like a nice pretty wet head. Sorry if that's gross, but skincare life. I find that it's a really good formula and I think it's worth checking out if you have blemishes that you just want to keep under control. Now let's go in with the rest of the skincare base. I talk so much about a good skincare base on this channel. Pretty much in the beginning of every one of my videos, I will mention having a good skincare base. You don't have to use these products I'm using in this video, but all I do say is make sure you have a moisturizer, eye cream, and SPF. Those three things make up a really good skincare base. I'm going to use the Charlotte's Magic Cream Instant Turnaround Moisturizer. One of my favorite moisturizers. I don't know. I just really Really like how it makes my skin look. Now let's do this eye cream. It's from Shiseido Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Cream. We need all the help we can get lately because I'm not getting no sleep. Team, no sleep. Having an infant. Woo, she's not a newborn anymore. She's an infant. <laughs> Now let's apply some SPF. I'm gonna use the Dalba a UV Essence Waterfall Sunscreen. This stuff here, 50 SPF. If y'all wanna come for me about not applying enough, don't you worry, don't, don't you worry. I got this. Finally, let's start with the makeup. For foundation, we're gonna start off with the Hourglass Veil Hydrating Skin Tint. I've been obsessed with this. It gives me a good foundation coverage, but it's not too much, it's still light enough. I'm gonna use the Sigma F53 Air Contour and Blush Brush for this um, application. I started using this brush recently because of how powerful the stipple is. I really like how beautifully it blends. If you don't wanna to commit to a foundation, this is great. It is so beautiful when it goes on the skin. It doesn't feel sticky, it feels light. It gives me really good coverage. It also keeps a little dewy action going on, which is a plus. Next up, we're gonna do brows. We're gonna start off with the Benefit Fluff Up Brow Wax. I love this stuff so good. And it makes the hairs a little bit more tacky so that the makeup kind of sticks onto it a little better and it looks more natural. Now I'm going to go in with the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the color 4.5 and we're just going to do a nice good brow arch. I'm going to lengthen out my brow a little bit. I just got my makeup done professionally for an event and I took the time to really like study what she was doing. Everyone has a different technique and you can learn from anyone. The way she did my brows made me change the way that I'm doing my brows right now. Maybe it's very similar to you in other videos that I've done, but to me it's different. I'm elongating the brow a lot more with the pencil than I usually do. This is what she did to my brows and I just loved how it looked, especially in pictures. It just looks so, so good. I went back and forth with the spoolie and the pencil. I really like this pencil. It's giving Anastasia Brow Wiz vibes, but I think a little bit better because the pigment is a little richer, which I love. I'm gonna go in with the Benefit. No way. The writing on it completely disappeared. It's a tinted brow gel. I will say that. I'm pretty sure this is in the color 4.5. I'm going to go ahead and brush these brows up with that tinted gel. This is going to act as like my setter for my brows. I'm going to go over with my spoolie too just to blend it again. Now let's go in with concealer. Oh no, I think I missed a blemish. Maybe it just came up now because I didn't notice that before, but man, my skin is fighting me this week. Anyway, I'm going to use the Hourglass Concealer. I can't name this concealer is called and I have a little um, 
makeup on it. Oops. Of course, I'll link it for you, but this is bomb. This has become my favorite concealer lately when I'm doing more of a glam look because I feel like it helps me look so much less tired. Will say, it smells like paint, but um, I love how it looks. <laughs> it applies so creamy and so beautiful. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Love it. Let's finish out that brow look and use a flat shader brush. Take some of that concealer, pop it under there. Look at how sharp that is. Wow. See the difference when, when I do it with the concealer and without? It just looks so much more pro. And, you know, doing this also hides any hairs that you missed when you were tweezing your brows or you need like a wax or something and you don't have time. That concealer helps make a pack. I'm gonna take my damp beauty blender and we're gonna blend all of this out. That is one thing with this concealer, you gotta be quick with it because it dries so incredibly fast. Blend, blend, blend. Yes, we're looking less and less tired as the Makeup progresses. I go over my eyes a bit, even though we're not gonna do a serious eye makeup look. I do like to just take a little bit of the residual concealer underneath there to help with what we are gonna do on our eyes. I'm gonna go over with this stipple just for good measure. Perfect. Now let's go in with some bronzer. I'm using the Natural Cream Bronzer from Say Beauty. This is in the color Sun Melt Medium Bronze. We're going to take the Sigma F47 Brush Multitasker and we're gonna just apply a little bit of this. I'm gonna do a light bronze, not not anything too heavy. Just a light bronze to bring some color and warmth into the face. Getting some good jawbone action right there. Yes, some on the temples. I love the consistency of this particular cream bronzer because it's very buildable. Other cream bronzers that I've used, they're a lot more for precise contouring. This is a very light, natural, buildable product and I really like that. Also, I feel like it leaves a nice shine to the face too or sheen glowy and dewy now let's go on with some blush makeup forever just came out with some new blushes and highlighters that i'm obsessed with and it gives me very old school vibes this is what it looks like you open it up it feels like hello that wasn't supposed to happen i took the wrong thing off okay that's not that's not a packaging issue it's because i took the wrong thing off dang i i got a little little dent in it. Doesn't it remind you of like the old school blushes you'd buy? That's what it reminds me of. I love the pigment of this. This is so beautiful. This is their artist blush in the color Limitless Berry. And I'm going to go in with that Sephora F53 brush to apply this to the skin. To apply this, whoa, hold on. I need to tap that off because it's so pigmented. That's what you want to see when it comes to a blush, but man. Blend, blend, blend. There we go. I'm obsessed with blush, guys. I love being able to play with more reddish hue blushes instead of like peachy blushes when it comes to fall and winter time now we're going to jump into the eye makeup we're not doing anything crazy again this is more of a simple look but it's just simple glam i'm going to take the kylie cosmetics the kylie jenner kit um i don't know what this doesn't have a name on it it's her pressed powder palette that's all it says these are the colors I love the neutral colors that we've got going on. It's very versatile, at least for me, because I love more neutral colors. I'm gonna take this Sigma Tapered Blending Brush. This is the E40, and I'm gonna use the color Chocolate out of this palette, and we're gonna focus on the outer corner of the eye. Ooh, that's bright, that's a lot. That's okay, we're gonna blend that out. Again, we're just focusing on the outer corner. Just blend, blend, blend as much as you can. This is gonna give the appearance of a, a more slanted eyelid, a larger eyelid too. We're gonna take this Sigma brush, this winged liner Sigma brush, because I usually have a shader brush and it has disappeared for me right now. I usually use a flat shader, like a small shader brush to do this underneath the eye, but we have this um, winged eyeliner brush. It will work just fine. I'm gonna take that same color chocolate and we're gonna go down here to the bottom of the eyes to balance out the eye makeup look. My recommendation to you is to blend, blend, blend. If it's too heavy down there, just blend with your fingers. I'm not gonna go into the eye here. We're gonna leave that open because we want that nice and bright. All right, there you have it. You wanna put that angled eyeliner brush to the side because we're gonna still use it. But before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. Push these girls up. Now we're gonna put mascara on. I have to say my favorite high-end mascara at the moment is the Ilia After Midnight Limitless Lash Mascara. This stuff is really, really good. It's a great runner up to the L'Oreal Telescopic that is usually my ultimate favorite. My eye serum that I'm using with Grande Lash is finally starting to kick in and work. Guys, look at those. I debated whether I was gonna do falsies today, but this makes it more easy. We're kind of doing this backwards. But that's okay because I forgot to use this. This is the Hourglass eyeshadow stick in the color Voyeur. And I just want to add just a little bit of this to this part of my eye look. It adds just a little bit of something. It gives a little bit of sparkle. And it's easy enough because 
it's not like a powder and I have to use a brush. You just use this. I can blend with my fingers and it looks just fine. I love the allure that that adds. This trick is for all my small eyed friends. I wouldn't say my eyes are super small, but they are on the smaller side and any way that I can use makeup to help enhance the eyes and make them look larger, I'm gonna do it. We're gonna take this Makeup Forever. This is their artist color pencil. It's a multi-usage, multi-matte pencil, but it's in the color Boundless Bisque. What a name. Nearly white. You can use any kind of white eyeliner for this. You're gonna highlight your waterline. This is nothing new. People do this all the time, but I just always forget to do it. It really adds something to the eye look. So this is with, this is without. I just, I love it. It's my favorite thing right now. I'm trying to look awake because I don't feel awake. I'm gonna use the Sigma Winged Liner EO6 brush that we just used to do the bottom. We're going to take that same brush and we're gonna take the palette that we were just using we're gonna use the darkest color, Sable. We're gonna draw a line there. Doesn't have to be super precise, just a little line. The other eye, we're gonna connect this line like this. Connect that line to the rest of the eye. We're not going full eye, we're just gonna do the edges. Final step, we take that flat shader brush that we use underneath the eyebrows, and we're just gonna just clean this up. Make that line a little sharper. That's the as I'm sitting here doing my makeup, a new pimple just popped up underneath my nose. It hurts so bad. You know when they first come, they always hurt. Taking that stuff that I used in the beginning, the Fenty Skin, and I'm putting it on my face just to help stop itching. We are nearly finished. I'm just gonna do some lips. I'm gonna use the Ilia Lip Wrap Reviving Balm. I don't really feel like doing lipstick today, but I'll show you a trick. Gonna pop that lip balm on there. This is such a nice lip balm. I'm gonna take that blush that I used for Makeup Forever, Limitless Berry, and I'm gonna apply this to my lips. This is when I don't feel like picking out a lipstick and I want something to look good with the makeup look that I have with less effort. And this is what I do. It adds uniformity to the look. It's easy, it's simple, and there you have it. This is the finished look of, I still haven't decided on a name yet. You know what it is, so this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really love how it turned out. I definitely feel like this gives me the in-between of a natural makeup look and a glam makeup look. Somewhere in the middle, we're still getting glam elements, but we're also still getting the natural and simple vibes too. Let me know what you think. Not only will it last a long time, but this whole makeup look only takes me about 10 minutes to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any other videos videos from this channel. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!